Hey guys, I'm AJ Jaffe. I've seen some questions online about how to update the new Futaba HC700 or H700 servos to the 760 microsecond center frequency to take full advantage of those servos with the Futaba 760R flight control system. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you really how easy it is. What you'll need is a Futaba HC700 or H700 servo. This is an HC700. The GPB1 program box uh, that comes with your 760. This does need to be updated to the 2.0 firmware that's available from the Futaba USA downloads page. And a power supply, either a 2-cell LiPo or a 4 or 5-cell nickel metal hydride or NICAD dry cell pack. I'm using a 2-cell because it's easy. And last, you'll need a Y harness. one I'm using comes with a CIU3 programmer, and that'll be plugged into the GX port of the GPV-1. So what you'll do is plug in your servo into the... Y harness and then the power supply. That will light up your uh, GPB-1. As it says, hold the up arrow to get into the servos. And this will get you into your SBUS menu. First thing you want to do is go down to recall, hit it, and then hold enter for a second. This will load everything from the servo. It'll look a lot like uh, if you've used SBUS programming on your transmitter, 14SG, 18MZ, 18SZ, anything like that. Uh, recall is very similar to read, and then write everything initialized, and it, they'll put it back to initial, initial settings. Uh, one thing to note is that if you change from 7, 1520 to 760, it will reset everything else in your uh, servo, including neutral, endpoints, that sort of thing. So make sure you double check that again. So all you gotta do is go down to where it says servo type, Click on where it says 760, hit enter, and then hold it again. It will reload everything. It'll write it. It'll tell you it's completed at the top when it's done. Completed. And now it's 760. As I noted, it will reset your neutral, so make sure you go and reset that again. I know in my case it was negative uh, 2.5 was the correct answer on centered for this particular servo. So make sure that when you do that, you go back up to the top and write your uh, your settings again and that's really that's all there is to it now don't forget that you will need to change it to 760 in the uh, 760 as well that will make it so that the flight control can uh, read the servos and send everything properly to the servos and that can be found in the first page of the swash basic menu of the 760 I've been playing around with the uh, 760 center frequency for a little while now on one of my helicopters, and I like it so much that I'm making my second helicopter 760 as well. It's not marketing, it's not hype, it's really um, a legitimate improvement in the flight control and how, and how the flight control feels, how the helicopter feels. I was able to tune out some bobbles a lot easier with the 760s and bobbles that I found in the helicopter and some of the hard stops, it's all gone now. The servos feel a little bit more powerful. It's it's really it's really a nice upgrade for sure. Um, and Futaba did a great job of making a flight control that can handle it and take full advantage of really the best the servos can offer. It's very similar to going from a 7, 1520 center frequency servo to a 760 center frequency servo on the tail. Uh, there's a reason that every tail servo now is like that. Uh, the speed, how quickly it can respond, all of that is is really important. It makes your flight control not have to work quite as hard. So everything about it is just is really a noticeable improvement. So it's it, it's really it's really if you're if you're on the fence about it, definitely uh, definitely check it out. If you have a 760 uh, flight control and you have the opportunity to pick up some HC700 or H700 servos, I really highly recommend it. You, you'll, you'll see the difference. Um, it's hard to really explain until you feel it, but it's, as I showed you, it's pretty easy to go between 1520 and 760 on the servo. So you, could, you can test it for yourself back to back to see really what you feel. If anyone has any other questions, feel free to comment, feel free to send me a message, anything like that. I'll be happy to help you out the best I can. Uh, I hope you all enjoy your 760, and if you have the HC700 or H700 servos, definitely look at uh, changing them to 760. You'll you'll notice a difference. If, again, if you're on the fence about trying out the 760, definitely do it. It's 
a really really nice system um, obviously especially if you fly Fataba already it's it's my favorite flight control system that I've flown I have uh, almost 250 flights on it now uh, and, and I really couldn't be happier with how it's flying it feels really natural it feels incredibly linear and it's a really well built well machined well designed uh, piece of hardware as always if you have any questions let me know thanks very much